All right, folks, today, you already know. Probably because of the title of the video. But I lost my fucking knife. So we're gonna change things up and use office scissors, if you can even call them that. Welcome back, everybody, to Fluffy Flamingos. My name is Oliver, and I am your host. Basically, we just teach you how to do cool magic tricks and uh, how to impress everybody you know. Uh, but today, instead of teaching you a magic trick, we're gonna be doing an unboxing. This is from X Dex Playing Cards. They are from St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna review the cards. Uh, if you guys are new to this little segment of ours, holy shit. If you guys are new to this segment of ours, uh, we open up cards and then what we do is we review three points on the tuck case or the box of the cards. And then we review two points for the cards themselves. So three points for the box for three different things. The look, the feel, and the functionality. Functionality meaning does it have a second flap on the box so I can reach in and grab the cards easier. The two things for the cards is just look and feel, and that's it. So without further ado, let's just tilt this guy down. Let's, uh, let's get some audio on this one. Alrighty, how are we opening this guy? I'm gonna guess it's over here. False, I lied. It's a big mystery to me. Wait, what the what? Holy shit. What is this box? It's like a maze. It's like a puzzle box. What about this side, huh? Is this side any better? Brute strength wins the day again. They gave us Lots of extra paper this episode. Guys, they gave me a shit ton of stickers and cards. <gasps> Bro, is that a fucking... Guys, that's a Fontaine. It's a Fontaine Joker. That's sick. We also have a Nine of Clubs here. I don't recognize this deck. This is the cards that we're reviewing today. These are the Lo-Fi Volume 1 mix. And I don't recognize these last one but it's a 10 of hearts and it says, zoom in. Hell turns into heaven as Parson starts to lick all the flower powders. Very interesting. So those are, that's a really neat uh, <laughs> tie-in. Thank you so much, X-Dex. That's sick as fuck. I feel like there's just like no light over here. What is happening? Okay, how? Do you like them apples? Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that might be better. That's pretty sick, dude. That's a big sticker. I like that. This one even kind of looks like me. That's kind of sick. It's a dude doing a spring. I like it. These are going on the record player. Then there are the cards themselves. We'll pull them out of this right here. Let's get some ASMR on this guy. Ooh. Wow. That's sick. Well, I'm gonna give this already a plus one because this is not wrapped in cellophane. I mean, not just wrapped in cellophane. Yo, whoa, what the hell? There's more stickers. Okay, as you guys know for this, uh, for this series of unboxing, we, uh, Give a plus one for when they give us extra stuff like stickers and cards. So I'm gonna give this a plus two because they already got us a shit ton of stickers and a shit ton of cards too. But here's that sticker. And then a spring light can. Give me a sec guys, this light is super bothering me. How is that? If I show this sticker again, does that look better? Oh yeah, look at that shit, bro. <laughs> okay, that's so much better. I don't know why my light is being such a dookie head today. But there, here's another plus one because they put it inside of like a plastic tuck case to extra protect my cards. That like actually does something. That's sick. So what, that's plus three already? Because we did, gave plus two for each sticker and then, because we gave plus two for the stickers and the cards and now another plus one for this case. It says uh, X Dex on the front here. That's pretty dope. I like how you can see the back one, but not the front one. All right, here it is, the Lo-Fi Mix Volume 1. 
This looks so cool. I'm so excited to open these. Okay, before we start delving into the box or anything like that, we're gonna talk about the cards. So this is obviously a lo-fi lo theme, like a, like a tape recorder style, like a Walkman. So that's what the theme is that they're going for, lo-fi. This was illustrated by Max Jung. Uh, and then if you buy four or more decks of cards, they come in this huge like boom box case and it actually plays music. And X decks, as you saw in the case here, is the distributor of these cards. So if you guys wanna buy some, go ahead and check out xdex.com. Uh, within these cards, we're about to see the face cards uh, and the aces, of course. Everything has a very unique style. It has uh, on the inside, I've already seen what the cards look like, uh, but some of our core cards have, you know, headphones in or chewing bubble gum. The aces have play, pause, favorite, and add written onto them. The back design is like a radio wave neon look. These are printed by USPCC or US Playing Card Company for those of you who don't know. And uh, one thing that I like on the back of this tuck case, let's remove the rest of the cellophane, is that it says property of, so I can write my name on the deck of cards, which is really neat. So uh, I love the color of the tuck case. And I love that I can write my name and everything on it. So we're gonna give this a three out of three. I love the color the look of it. It feels like a standard USPCC case. And there you go, a second flap for functionality. So we can now reach into the box and pull out the cards. And uh, let me take off my brace so that we can properly use these cards. These cards, <laughs> they give me kind of like Steven Universe vibes. They look spectacular i mean look at that look at that color here's the back design real quick like i said very like radio wavy neon colored look i like it a lot there's the blank card also comes with this spare card which oh my goodness looks amazing i love that just a lo-fi girl doing cardistry there then we move on to our Ace of Hearts. It says favorites, just like we talked about. And then the rest of the cards, you know, we have two of hearts, three of hearts, so on and so forth. So we have like a missing pip, but really cool, like violet color. Let's go to the blacks. We have a black with a neon blue outline instead. Looks incredible. So let's start from down here. Here are the Jokers which again, I really just love the art, the design on these is so spectacular. So you got the mug and fit there and then soda and kit there. Ace of spades says play. The ace of diamonds says pause. And then ace of clubs says add. There you go. Now let's take a look at some of these court cards. We got the Jack of Spades here. He's got his headphones and hoodie on and his mug, his cup of coffee. Headphones. And this guy here, I don't know some of these faces to be honest, but he's holding his camera, that's kind of sick. He got like a soundboard in his hands. There she is chewing bubble gum. A little keyboard there, a little synth. Then what I hear is that the King of Hearts has a reveal. Ah, there it is. So if you notice down here, the king is holding an empty Polaroid, but if you go up, then you have the two of hearts reveal right up here where the Polaroid is. So that's a nice little thing. So I like that quite a lot. So these cards uh, look amazing. I love the vibe of these cards. I think they fit the lo-fi vibe perfectly. They uh, did not fail any standards. If anything, they exceeded my expectations on the illustrations alone. So let's work these guys in a little bit. Let's see, feels good. They don't feel quite broken in. They feel a little stiff, a little bit less stiff than like normal bicycle cards. Ooh, that Pharaoh was really easy. Let's give these guys a quick shuffle. 
Feels good. And we've already been fanning and spreading the whole time. I like the way that they feel. Let's try a quick color change here. Looks sick. Okay guys, so my microphone actually died here, so I'm just gonna be voicing over the rest of this episode. And that's why this episode's coming out a little bit late. But uh, what we're gonna do next is, uh, so I don't know if you guys have ever played Blackjack or otherwise known as 21, but the premise is simple. You would deal someone in two cards and you add them together. So if you get the closest to 21, then you win. So you want higher cards and an ace can be either a one or an 11, depending on what you want it to be. So let's show you guys how to transfer luck at the casino table. So the spectator will be able to deal themselves and myself in if they would like. So what will happen is that I'll start dealing since there's no one else here and I'll start dealing and the spectator would just tell me when to stop whenever they're comfortable. So there's my hand and then let's shuffle this and the spectator would be able to shuffle this in real life too. And then we can deal again, we'll deal them in. So let's say they stop here. And let's take a look and see who won 21. So yeah, not the greatest cards. And then if you take a look at mine, look at that. <laughs> I got 20. So. I would have won that round. So let's find out uh, if we can transfer the luck just like we talked about. So I won that round. Spectators need to up their game a bit. So let's do it one more time. Here's the spectator is going to deal me in once again. So let's start dealing. Let's say stop here. And one more time. And let's say that that's my hand that the spectator sh dealt me in again first. We'll give it another shuffle. And then we'll deal in the spectator according to what they want. So let's see. They'll say stop about here. And then one more time. And let's see. I got a pretty doo doo hand. Two and a six. Did not even come close. And then if we take a look at what the spectator got, oof, a nine and an eight. So they would have definitely beat me at that round. They got 17. So that is how you transfer the luck at a <laughs> blackjack table. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I think we're gonna call it here. I really enjoyed these cards. I'm very impressed with the illustrations. I'm in love with the way that it feels, the way it looks the vibe that it gives off and all of the extra gifts that they included. I'm so grateful for finding this deck and, and purchasing it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Fluffy Flamingos. Peace out.